We are now joined by His Eminence, Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, the Archbishop of Manila, and thank you for spending the day and talking to us and all that you bring from the Lord here to this country. Uh, you know, just since starting out, uh, Cardinal, what does charity mean to you? I mean, giving, charity, you've seen all things, a lot of different things that we haven't. What does that mean to you? Charity is first an attribute of God. It is not something that we produce. It is a gift to us because God is love. God is overflowing love in the sense that God is always given, self-given to others. That's why we have life. And if we receive God, if we receive love, love is not just a, an emotion. It is a living person. To receive love is to receive God, the source of all. And imagine, if I am in love, I don't give myself alone. I give God. But I am able to give God because God has given himself first to me. And uh, so it's important. If I, if I want to be a truly loving person to others, I need to receive. Receive God. Receive God's love. Then I have something to give. Amen. Now, what do you think about a group of local uh, Americans here trying to work on this mobile clinic idea and for the Philippines? How will that impact the Philippines? Or how do you feel the whole project uh, through Father Robert and all the Barnabite uh, mission is going? First of all, we should celebrate every act of love, every thought that uh, tries to uh, embody compassion, and not just as a vague emotion, a thought, an emotion that leads to living action. This is what we celebrate. And we celebrate doubly because, you know, people coming from different parts of the world, people coming from different traditions, people who do not know each other and could claim, wow, what is that to us? Why would that be our concern? That's miles away. We need to celebrate that. The love that is able to go beyond mountains and hills and oceans and time zones simply because the suffering of one person is the suffering of the whole body. And this is a, a great witness, not only about the very nature of the church, but of humanity. We are one family. And so we're not just, uh, we in the Philippines, especially the poor children that will be helped by this uh, project, we're not the only ones who will benefit. This will benefit the whole of humanity. For I believe every act of love changes the whole world. Amen. So I know Father Robert is thinking about multiple clinics, <laughs> and uh, perhaps there'll be more of the fundraiser going on so people can continue to go to MakeSadEyesSmile.com. Yes, that's right. Actually, I want to extend the invitation to his, uh, his Eminence for the next year when we're going to, His Eminence will show to the people here in Lehigh Valley and beyond what the Lord has done through the, the love and charity that he was talking so eloquently to us. Well, so in wrapping this up, what do you believe the crucial areas that the church might have to deal with in the coming year. I mean, this is an exciting time with Pope Francis coming, and I know there are all types of things going on around the world. And just leave us with a thought as far as, uh, from the global perspective, what the church should be thinking. There is much to say, but uh, from what I have been experiencing and seeing, not only in the Philippines, but in other parts of the world where I am brought because of my many ministries with Caritas International and the Catholic Biblical Federation, I am overwhelmed by the different manifestations of human suffering. And the causes are also quite complex, but there is a common call. See a brother, see a sister. And if you see a brother or sister in someone who is suffering, the suffering will be your own. And that connects you right away. And if a true brother or a sister suffers, we are impelled or urged on by love, by brotherly love, to respond. Even if we cannot solve all the problems, our solidarity, our communion, our 
smiles, our tears, our prayers, they, they are already a big, big, big help towards making the world a better, a little better place to live in. Thank you for sowing the word, living the word, and giving a great example. Thank you to you and uh, to our collaborators here and our future collaborators.